What up, YouTube? It's your boy Calvin the Gravy back at it with another video, man. I want to make a quick video. It's kind of like a part two of that one video. Uh, I made a video about the power of a plan. I want to make a video called The Power of a Routine, bro. So, The Power of a Routine. This is like, it's almost, it's everything. It's really everything, to be honest with you, bro. Like, for example, I'm going to get straight into it. I don't want to wait 10 minutes and then I start talking and all that stuff, whatever. I, what I've noticed is for myself, um, the moment I came up with a routine, it's like everything just became so much more simple and effective. So basically, bro, the key is you want to make your routine something that's focusing on the things you want to work on. For example, at the time, when I first came up with my gym routine, it was obviously it was all oh, I want to get in better shape, whatever, whatever. After a while, it becomes so much of a routine. You just do it no matter what, bro. I don't care if I was Bruce Lee shredded. I must still be in the gym at the same time, same workout, same thing, just because that's just who I am now. So um, what you want to do, bro, basically, you want to make a routine that works on your weaknesses, not your strengths. Like that's a that's one of the biggest problems. A lot of people we not working on our weaknesses on a daily basis. Like for example, one of my biggest weaknesses was my how I would just put off YouTube. Like for example, like bro, if you look at my videos, I went four months without a video on YouTube. You know what I mean? And like when I first started, even if you watch my videos, I was like yeah, I'm gonna have a video a day. Yeah, subscribe. I'm gonna have a video. But like, bro, honestly, you gotta call yourself out. So it's like, what I've noticed is, it's like, bro, it took me, it took me a long time. Obviously, bro, I'm 23. I'm about to be 24 in August. Like, to really come up with this routine. Basically, what I did, man, I sat down on one of my days where I was feeling real low, feeling real low about life, wherever. Just a lot of things going on in my life. That's the, the broadest way I could put it. And basically, um, if you guys know me, like anybody that know me in person, they'll always tell you, bro, I got my notes on my phone open and I'll jot down different things during the day, like just randomly. If I get a thought, I, I jot it down. Like even when I'm in the gym, if, if something just like just triggers me, I'm like, okay, let me because like bro, like we think about things so often and we don't write it down, we don't do none of that stuff. So, you know, at one of the lowest points in my life, I was like, okay, look, this is the problem. This is what I need to be. This is who I want to become. This is what I need to do to do it. So basically, bro, what I'ma say is if you are in that low spot right now, it's cool. When you in the when you in a, a a certain situation to where it's real bad, you really feel like it's never gonna end, or you really feel like it's not it's not gonna be better days. And that's the furthest thing from the truth. Like, bro, when I was going through my whole little thing, bro, like I was going through a, I was going like a through a financial a breakup, like not physically where I wanted to be, like, just a lot of things, bro, not mentally, spiritually, where I wanted to be, like, when you in that moment, you just kind of, like, you just, like, you just thinking, bro, and what I noticed is, with this routine, bro, I don't like anything that's negative now, like, bro, it's been hella negative things coming my way, like, bad news, um, I'm not gonna get too in detail, man, like, I don't want to put my whole life out there on exactly what it is, but just bad things, bro. And like, I've gotten in such a routine of doing positive things or things that's made me, things that that's made me like feel better, things that's progressing me forward. I'll literally take it and I'll just like, okay, whatever. Like, not that I'm, I'm not responsible. Like not, not that I'm not gonna take care of the situation, but it's more so like, I'm not going to let it stress me. Like, what I've noticed is one of the biggest problems with people, like, myself included, all these problems, bro, I used to sit and just dwell on it. Like, I would just create all these things in my head. Like, bro, like, I'm naturally an overthinker. I'm naturally an overthinker. So I'll come up with 20 different scenarios in my head. Oh, man, like, this going to happen, whatever, whatever. Now, bro, when problems come, I'm like, cool. 
I'll deal with it when I get to it. Boom, back on program. Boom, back in the gym. Oh, you know, doing my YouTube. So, like, you know, I'll share my routine with you guys, right? Just to give you guys an example. So, like I said, when I made this routine, I wasn't really happy where I'm at um, financially, physically, and as far as, like, having something on the side. So, financially, obviously, quit buying. You know, I know I do a lot of shoe content, but I don't show you guys what I'm getting rid of to get it. I'm one of them people, bro, when I buy stuff or I make a major purchase, I would rather sell all the sell things that I'm not using to buy that because I kind of look at it as a trade. I don't really come out of pocket for a lot of stuff. Um, So that was one of the things like, you know, I was just buying all this stuff because, you know, like I told you guys, I was doing sales. I'm getting money. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, COVID happened. I got extra responsibilities now, like all that. So it's like, OK, damn, like it, it low key changed my whole perspective. So. Uh, I came up with this thing of like, honestly, all this stuff is made for us to want it. Like, obviously, bro, like all these dunks, all these nice shoes, these cars, like, but if you could master not like, if, if you could master looking at it and liking it and appreciating it and not having the urge to get it, I feel like that's true power because it's like, I have the means to go buy a lot of the things I want. But, like, the, the discipline that I built, like, bro, like, it's like when I do splurge or when I do, you know, go against that rule, I feel it every time. It's just more so, like, when you chase instant gratification, you just over it. Like, you feel me? Like, bro, I done had shoes in my collection that I was like, man, if I get those, I'm done. And I get it. And I just be, I'll be looking at shoes at night. I'll be like, you know, like, Instagram, bro, like, these pictures is beautiful, bro. Like, you want all this stuff. So it's like, okay, that's how I fix my financial thing. So as far as like the financial thing, I've gravitated more so towards a mindset of let me get rid of so I could trade for this instead of just buy, buy, buy if I got to have it. And that's like, that's like once or twice a year if I just got to have it. Because like I go so long without getting, it's cool. You you don't never want to be 100% strict. Um, Other thing, physically. Like, bro, I've never been fat. Like, you guys can look at my videos, but obviously, we, bro, nobody's at their potential of what they physique could be. And I definitely wasn't at mine at that time. I'm still not at it, but I'm definitely closer than what I was before. So that's what, that's all what it comes down to. I'm not saying, oh, I'm some, you know, I'm Bruce Lee, I'm ripped. Like, even if I was that, I would be trying to build more muscle. Like, that's just always having that, that routine that's building towards something positive, bro. That's the key. You can't have, if you got small goals, like, let's say if I was just like, oh, I want to get a six pack, I'd be done. You feel me? Like, my my goal is like, bro, I base the body I want based on a, on a person that's not even real, bro. I look at, like, anime characters, Vegeta, stuff like that. I'm like, I need that physique. And I'll never truly get it because that's not even real. So I'm always in that thing. I'm like, man, I'm, like, I'm, I'm grinding. You feel me? So workout routine. Every single day I wake up. 6 a.m. I do the same thing, bro. 6 a.m. Have my bang, have my coffee, have my water. I read. Um, I wouldn't say I meditate in the morning. I feel like I damn near meditate when I work out, like when I'm doing cardio, because I'll have the music just low and I'm just in my thoughts. So that's kind of a form of meditation for me. I listen to instrumental, whatever. Um, I've been doing that every day since the day I've came up with this routine. So that's what I'm telling you guys, bro. It's really the routine. Like, bro, I literally get up out, out of bed. I don't even think if I'm going to go do go to the gym or if I'm going to shoot a YouTube video on this day at this time. I know it because it's my routine. And, like, the times that, you feel me, I got idle time, I'm thinking of ideas for to enhance this routine that I've come up with. So, for example, the other one I told you guys, I was slacking on my passion my um you know my clothing line youtube just being an online presence bro that's something i've always like you know i've just like that you know i just like doing that and i feel like i tell people all the time everybody should have a youtube not to make money not for this not for that it's just recording your life bro like when we was growing up my dad had a big uh, big old camera on him at all times that's how we got vcrs of our vcr tapes of our life as a kid like it's people with kids now that don't even record nothing that they do like other than like a 10 second instagram clip 
You feel me? Like, bro, like, I just feel like, I just feel like, you know, when we don't have stuff, we want it. And then now we got, like, imagine if, if iPhones and stuff was being thought of when our parents was growing up. They'll be like, man, like, we could have a phone with a camera. I don't need this big old thing, man. I'm recording everything. And now that it's a regular thing, nobody even record their life, bro. Like, that's what it really come down to, regardless of me and monetize or this or that, bro. I'm doing it because I just want to see myself. Because obviously, bro, we're growing with time. Five, ten years from now, I'll be like, damn, bro, that was me at 23 in my closet talking about shoes, whatever. That was me. Like, I have 10 minute, um, you know, incremental videos of this stuff. So that was that was the other thing. I was like, you know, let me let me work on that. So, bro, part of my day, I do my my workout, go to work, whatever. Today I got off early. Kind of threw me off. Like that's another thing. When you when weird things happen, it's easy to get thrown off. But just remember, just try to you gonna you gonna fail. You gonna fail a couple times, and you just but you're not gonna go as far far off as when you didn't have a routine. So, like, even a day, it kind of threw me off getting off early. Like, just weird things. Like, where the average person would be like, oh, I'm off early. I get to watch TV. I was like, damn. Like, I'm used to, like, working on this at this time. Like, what? So, all I did now was just push it up a little bit. Like, bro, usually I do my content in the morning or at night. Now I'm doing it at 5, 6 o'clock because, all I, okay, I was able to adjust. I'm like, okay, cool. Do my content at this time. So, it's like, just create a routine create a routine that focuses on the things that you want to work towards. And I know that's a broad way to say it, but little by little, even if you read 15 minutes of trying to grow a brand, how to paint, how to use Photoshop, how to do makeup, whatever, those little 15 minutes, you do that every day, bro, you do 10 minutes a day for seven days a week, that's 70 minutes, that's an hour and 10 minutes. Do that four times four now, for a month. That's four hours and 40 minutes. Do that for a year. Bro, that's basically what it comes down to, bro. Like, create the routine, the power of a routine. Y'all let me know what y'all think about today's video. If you guys got any tips, any kind of things that you guys have learned about having a routine, share it in the comments. I want to create a, like, a family. Like, I want people to be able to comment, yeah, I did this and this worked for me feel like a lot of people, we found out a lot of things. These things seem very basic, but I swear it's literally the life changer because when I was a drifter, when I was just waking up, oh, I played a game. I don't really, I might go to the gym later. Yeah, like whatever. Like when I was living my life like that, bro, like pff, nothing would like, you would have sudden, sudden little sparks of motivation or whatever. And that was just straight. Pff, but I'm always, I'm like this now towards everything so y'all let me know what y'all think about today's video make sure to like comment and subscribe it's your boy calvin the great man and we out